Blade Trinity movie review. Blade makes a mistake and suddenly finds that the humans are now hunting him as well as the vampires. At least that's what they say. It doesn't actually come up much at all in the movie. At the same time, Dracula has been found by the vampires and been brought back. And they hope that through him, they will defeat the humans once and for all. And at the same time, the human hunters have developed what may be the eventual solution to the whole vampire issue. And we meet some more vampire hunters. Are you confused yet? Because most of this actually doesn't really come into play in the movie, so don't worry if you missed half of it. At this point, I would like to give a quick shout out to the Michael Myers fanatic. He does funny movie reviews of horror movies. Go check him out. Link down below. This movie has a lot of problems. I don't really know where to start. The costumes are bad. The soundtrack, not all of it sucks. Most of it does. The music never fits. Bottom line. The acting is just painful. It's mostly over the top. I don't really know why they thought that it was a good idea to... You know, I thought that some more humor with the Blade character would be a good idea, but this is just silly. In fact, the humor in the film does tend to be really silly. I mean, talk, I'm talking juvenile. The dialogue sounds like it was written by a 13-year-old for 13-year-olds. What happened, Goyer? You, you did good on the other two. And I'm also not sure why he does such a bad job directing this, because I heard the last time he directed a movie with Parker Posey and a blind person, it came out really well. I don't know. Blade himself is still pretty badass. The fact that there are more vampire hunters in this, there's really no need for them. They really don't, you know, it's again that kind of thing of, you know, the sequel have to make it bigger, but it really doesn't work all that well. And part of the problem, really, is that the vampire hunters have as easy a time of defeating vampires as Blade does. Blade is half a vampire. Why would human beings who are, like, you know, we don't know exactly how old Blade is, but they're considerably younger than him. They're like 20-year-olds. Why would they be that much better than him? Or as good as him? Well, better than him, given that he has a natural advantage. The plot is kind of a mess. There's a lot of things that just don't really... You know, elements that are brought up and then don't pay off at all. That's another thing with the dialogue. A lot of the lines are just obvious setup lines so that there can be some kind of retort. I honestly just about had a snarkgasm by the amount of just pure sarcasm in this. It stops being funny after a while, you know. And then there are some lines that are just such heavy slang. A lot of the lines are slang. So that you just barely understand what's even being said. I get it. They're trying to be hip. It's not working. And then we have the obvious product placement. One of the hunters is described as listening to, you know, her iPod as she's hunting. That makes no sense. No conceivable sense. Why would you give up one of your five senses when in a life or death situation where you need them the most. All in all, the movie's just not very good. Some of the action is pretty good, but there's too much of it, and it just wears you out. It's like a Steven Sommers movie, you know? After a while, you just tune out, and you don't notice it anymore. With that said, the climax is cooler than that of Van Helsing, so there. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.